Hi sis, how are you doing? Welcome to Fab Chic Mothers. My name is Doris and today it's all about belts. <laughs> Welcome back sis to my channel. My name is Doris and this is Fab Chic Mothers and here we talk everything fashion. How to be fabulous, look chic and ladylike and feminine on a budget. <laughs> so if it's right up your alley, please stay tuned and sis consider subscribing to my channel to be part of this family of Fab Chic ladies. And if you are a returning subscriber or watcher, welcome back sis. I really appreciate all of your views, your comments, your encouraging words. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So for today's video, we are all about accessories. I mean, spring has sprung, you know, for a while now. And I decided, you know what? It's time to do my purging. It's time to be doing a lot of calling out of my stuff and just get rid of unnecessary weight, things that I'm not drawn to anymore, stuff that don't fit me right, that don't go with my style, that are damaged, you know, so to give away some and whatnot. So, Today I decided to start with accessories and I love me some good accessories. If you've seen a few of my videos, you know, <laughs> case on point, I just love jewelry, bold statement necklaces and custom jewelry. And so for today, I decided to purge my belt. And so belt, I feel like um, this is such a a very good addition to any ensemble to any look because not only a belt has the capacity to snatch you in and create a silhouette that you love and also a belt adds a pop of color it creates a different structure you know with your layering with the shape of your clothes and you can wear a belt with anything with dresses with skirts with pants with anything and so of course i love thrifting and i've had a few belts over the years some from zara from retail stores but a lot of it i thrifted i love me some good vintage um belts i just love accessorizing belts with a lot of my outfits i think i mean you know it adds such pizzazz to my outfit it really elevates them so today I have a whole bunch of belts here that you do not see right now. So I'm going to go through each one of them and decide which one I'm keeping, which one I am giving away. And so let's get started without further ado. <laughs> so it's just so crazy how much you can accumulate of a certain thing when you don't really pay attention. But as you know, after we have um, built my closet, so I pretty much just piled everything I had, you know, here and I organized them. But now it's time to purge because let's just be honest, our style evolved and the things that we used to even like, you know, two years ago may not be what we enjoy right now. So I'm going to my belt and I encourage you to do the same with each category of your wardrobe, of your closet, of your life, you know. So you can go to every compartment of your life, of your the environment you live in, and start cleaning and purging and you only feel lighter. And I think also it makes it easy for you when you're trying to get dressed to only have pieces that you enjoy. Um, because you know what's there, you know what you like, you know what fits you so it makes it easier than to just have a bunch of stuff that you don't enjoy and that's why we end up a lot of times saying i don't have anything to wear so the first belt um i would like to talk about sis i don't even know why i kept this belt honestly i believe this is hubby's belt and he wanted to get rid of it <laughs> and i was like no 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 it's a genuine leather belt and i was like no don't trash it or whatever wrangler Oh, I'm going to, you know, I can do something with it, you know, <laughs> and I kept it. I never wore it and uh, yeah, it's got to go. I'm probably going to ask one of my boys if he can fit them, if they want it, but this has got to go. I mean, this is very rustic and I thought I could enjoy it in some ways, but 
I got better than that. I can do better. <laughs> this is a clear belt I actually purchased from Shein. And I just love to buy a lot of those fashion, um, fun accessories with Shein. Like you have seen my sunglasses from Shein because they really um, are good at creating a lot of trendy stuff and also stuff that you may not find anywhere else for a good price and accessories this is my place to go for a lot of out of the ordinary things that pop you know i'm all about being bold and stuff so i love getting a lot of my custom jewelry um big chunky necklaces sunglasses crazy sunglasses <laughs> from shein so this is a belt I purchased from them and I love this belt. I think I got it two years ago. I love this, you know, transparent plasticky belt because I was thinking this goes with everything. Since it's transparent, I mean, whatever you wear is going to take on, you know, the color of the outfit. So um, I really don't regret having bought this. I'm definitely keeping this. I believe I have styled this belt before. I'll try to insert a picture or I will try it on for you again. But this is literally like having a black belt. It goes with everything. I just love it so much because I'm always about looking at, um, looking for versatile um, pieces and accessories that you can mix and match um, to elevate your style. So this is definitely staying, definitely. Um, I, oh, something fell. So the next belt I wanted to check out, oh, this is staying. I mean, come on now, come on now. Oh my gosh, I love this shark. I think this is shark. This is a vintage thrifted belt I purchased. Oh, is it incline? So usually, if you see this lion type of symbol, this is an incline, I'm pretty sure. And this is a thrifted belt and I love it. It's so good. Ah, oh, so good. So beautiful. I was like taken aback when I saw it. And the thing with those really ornate belts is that you can also use them as a necklace. There's a really nice way to wrap it, you know, around your neck. You can, I mean, come on now. You, you, you know, we're all about being creative here. So um, I'm definitely keeping this, come on now. This gives me like 80s vibe. You can wear them over jeans, you can wear them um, over skirts and dresses, anything. Oh, over blazers, look. So definitely staying, hold on. Let me put the to go belts <laughs> on one side so I won't confuse everything. And so the next belt, Mm -mm. it's got to go this is like a simple i believe that every woman should have like a thin belt like this it serves a purpose and let's talk about the sizes of belts like the width it's you i hear a lot of in the fashion circle that you know if you're not snatched you know you don't have a snatch waist a tiny waist you shouldn't wear a wide belt sis i'm not snatched in any shape or form but i wear my white belt I wear my wide belt. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> uh -uh, I won't be dictated what to wear or what not to wear. <laughs> so this is supposedly, if you have a wider waist, you're supposed to wear thin belts to give the illusion of having a smaller waist. Sis, mm -mm, you only live once. Wear what you want. Because I do. <laughs> so I was thinking, I mean, I'm not really drawn to it. I have not been drawn this oh, I'm sure there will be a time and a place if I think about it but it's not my type you know I've tried to get used to wearing like maybe one I'm not I'm not reaching out for this belt at all and you can tell there's some discoloration here it's time to go eh, it's got to go I'm not really into it and oh let me talk about the belts here so the next belt says isn't that gorgeous this is a vintage belt i thrifted and i mean come on now look at the tribal aztec indian feel that it's giving you isn't that so good and like i said always this could be also a necklace 
I love it love it so much it could even be an ornament as well if you wear your big scarf you can tie it I cannot tell right now how it's looking I don't have a mirror in front of me but you get the gist you know you can still do so much things with it just use your creativity um, so yeah it's a belt and of course I'm keeping this are you kidding me I'm keeping this so good so so good I love me a good quick vintage belt the next twisted vintage belt, which I never wore, the tag is still on here. It's from a thrift store, not Goodwill, another one in town for four dollars. It almost looks like the one I just showed you, but I love this one. Look at the um, the beads. Ah, oh, it's so tribal, so ethnic. Ah, oh, I love love that. It's so gorgeous yes oh i can definitely see that as oh oh i mean come on you know <laughs> it's gorgeous it's saying where do you think you're going oh and this thrifted chain belt is so good look how cool it is i mean literally zara will be selling something similar that would even tarnish i've had this belt for like at least three years and of course it's vintage so i just love how the color the silver color stayed intact it's just gorgeous oh once again and you'll be surprised zara actually selling a choker that almost looks similar but it's just gold tone something like this and it's written Amore on here, which I don't see myself wearing something like that. But can you imagine that you can have such good quality belts or necklace um, or ornaments for your head scarf, for your turban, for your head. Um, you know, so many different uses for it. This is so good. I'm keeping it. Um, next one up is this chain belt a vintage that I thrifted almost looking at the one I just talked about but it's gotta go look at the scratches on it it's gotta go so I'm going to get rid of this and this is from Chico's made in China this is from Chico's and I really like this brand but this is it, it has on its course this is really old now she goes so this is really old yeah it's a beautiful book it's really giving me 80s vibe and so cool and just you know edgy but it's gotta go it's too scratchy for me to wear it again but this would be awesome oh my gosh that's a choker i mean it will elongate your neck and you look like royalty i love it so this is a goner next up is another thrifted belt and i never wore it actually so i'm going to wear it soon for ten dollars i see have a tag on it don't you love those shells and this is what's so good about those vintage pieces like the color is still so well uh, maintained it's just crazy it's so beautiful Oh, when I saw it, I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, such a nice belt, so different. Because I'm always looking for the piece that make me stand out. That's just how I am. <laughs> so I really, really love it. Oh, it's so good. I'm just, I have to run a bit quicker for the belt because it's a lot of them on the floor. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. It won't be too long for you. So the next belt. Oh, I've seen so many of those like in Fritz Halls. I believe this style was really popular back in the day. Yeah, you can hear the noise already. This is so cool. This is like almost like a coin um, elastic. Yeah, a coin elastic belt. And gold tone. Yeah, you can see the elastic here 
and this is so extraordinary i love love this belt i mean it goes with so many different things ah oh, it really accentuates your waist it adds an interesting detail to your outfit it looks elegant I mean such 80s vibes such 80s vibe and I'm sure I probably got it for like what four dollars or so this is like nothing honestly and I love it really really good so the next belt I wanted to consider ah, I love this I love this double stack belt this is so dramatic this is literally like more is more and I just love there's some things that honestly says I cannot tone down and this belt has its place within my collection this is actually from Shein and I believe they're still in stock they have different colors um, I think I have a oh I think I have a beige yes I do I have a beige okay I'll show you later but yes I have another version of it like a beige or ten color I love this so much I had to get the other one but this is this is definitely for edgy outfits I mean this can go with anything I can even you know wear this with my vintage blazer right now with my black dress but I believe when I wore it for a, for a look last year was with my camo pants my Tommy Hilfiger thrifted blazer and with my braids on one side with my scarf and with my Zara um, stiletto boots sis this look oh my gosh I loved it so this is the spell I'm keeping it no questions about it I will look for the link and try to insert it in the description box for you another belt here and uh, this gives me a lot of like native tribal like cowgirl vibe and I love it sis one of these days I'm going to do a lookbook because I have oh I have a pair of cowgirl boots same color with some jeans or a jean skirt oh my lord to add this feminine touch with a plaid shirt with a vest with a cowgirl hat sis watch out for this lookbook and if you are not subscribed yet you don't want to miss out sis what you doing pause right now go subscribe to my channel because this is about fashion here we are ready to step out and step up to really elevate our games you know but not ready are they ready but not ready <laughs> so yes this is beautiful i just love that metallic look it's like a bunch of buckles connected fully match it's actually quite heavy it's i love the elasticated waist because sis this waist has got to be kept under control <laughs> but i love it it's really comfortable and uh, i'm keeping it loving it you know the next belt oh yes 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 I love this one oh the other one is from Chico's as well and I thrifted it if I did not say it you can see here it's etch in it Chico's and I believe that it's leather this one is made in China there is no tag or anything on it to let me know I thrifted it for sure and I just love the woven details of this belt and it looks plasticky but I love it how actually I have another one like this let me see I have one that looks just like it oh yeah I have another woven like this I was wondering yes ah oh, yes yes I love those woven belts yes they're so elegant they just add such a interesting touch to any outfits and I'm fully sure this this looks like um, Shein to me but this is thrifted so yes I'm keeping this for sure you know I love white belts and no fashion connoisseur is going to talk me out of it 
and this one look at this thick buckle oh my goodness fabulous i love this color i love thin brown it's my favorite color and this is going to go well over so many different things oh i think i wore it in one of my videos in the past i remember i remember that yes perfect i love it this it is a belt but it was a set it came with a zara um dark green military i mean kind of military but military coats i purchased and i'm going to keep it because one day you know i may want to go monochromatic and wear this with a coat so i'm keeping it next i have another of that thin belt that i got rid of getting rid of this one as well i mean so far i only have three belts i'm getting rid of three four that's a purging all right <laughs> I'm keeping what I love and what I know for sure I'm going to be wearing. So, uh, this is, oh my gosh, I hunted down this belt for months because I thought I missed out on the Zawas version, which, let me look for it. Is it even here? Oh yes, it's here. So, I was originally looking for the Zawas version. I love the asymmetrical belt like this i just love the material looking color it's thin so i went what's that it's not express it's ah oh, what's that store jesse penny or nordstrom i forgot one of those stores and i got this one i was so excited when i got it i was like well at least i got this similar belt because i really wanted to add you know to add it to my collection to go with a lot of the outfits you know i was wearing i only had black belts at this point fully match and i love white belts and so lo and behold i found this one on poshmark says i still grabbed it so it's different because i love the edge of this belt you see how asymmetrical it looks it's still nice but it's straight you know straight across um so yeah i'm still keeping it i like it next belt man i have a lot of white belts <laughs> when you love something you love something oh oh my gosh this looks just like that oh i think i bought it together yes uh yeah i bought both the same day i mean you need that brown goes with pretty much anything one is a neutral for me at this point sis and yes i bought these together i am keeping both yes i am finally some color oh i think i bought this one too <laughs> the same day <laughs> oh my gosh this is hilarious sis so yeah nothing else to add keeping next oh yeah i remember this belt i was all about i need me a, a good ob belt it was of a range and i was like yes i need something really bold a white belt that can cinch in my waist but since right now i think this can go this can go this is probably from Shein or no i mean this is definitely full leather um yeah it's hard to rip actually here and i feel like i have such good quality belts now this is oh my gosh i got it like six years ago or so this has been with me for a long time and it has played its role i'm going to get rid of it because i am actually about to purchase an obi belt a real one looking almost like um the loewe belt but on the cheaper price side of course we are frugal around here sis and i was following the thrifting twins and they are fabulous i love them and they had worn that belt and i was like oh my gosh it's real leather it's from aria mago um she has an etsy store but she has a website as well i think she's based off of Poland or Russia I don't know somewhere like that but there's so many different options these days on Etsy on Poshmark 
of really affordable full options, good quality, real leather, obi belts, and with different shapes as well, in so many different colors and shapes. And uh, I mean, I'm, I'm about to order it, I haven't yet. So whenever I get this belt, I will make a haul and pair it with my outfit and show you um, what I can do with it. So because of that, so this can go now. I don't need it. It's good. Oh, I have another elastic belt. And this came with... Oh, I don't remember with what. But it reminds me of the green belt that came with um, the Zara's coat. That I showed you earlier that I wanted to keep. And so for this reason, I went to keep it. Because this can... I love this color. I can still wear it with different things. So I'm going to keep it. Next is this fabulous, fabulous Zara leather belt. Sis, this was a limited edition last year and I hunted it down. My size was gone, it was sold out. And I don't know how much was it, $60? Something like that, $60 or $55. And since I really wanted it, I've never seen such a huge buckle like this. It's so spectacular. And I'll insert a few pictures of me wearing it. This burgundy color is everything. Look at this belt. Oh my gosh, so bold. So, and the color. I saw the black version, I think. And then I saw that there was a different color and I was like, oh my gosh, to have both because this goes with anything, it's black and to have a burgundy color, you bet sis. When I'm working on my work laptop, <laughs> I have my personal computer app and I refresh that page <laughs> every hour. You have to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. No judgment here, but I really wanted a belt and I'm so glad I finally grabbed it and um yeah this is fabulous real leather that's why i mean i still check out zara a lot because they have pieces that as much as i love thrifting they may not necessarily have something like this that i'll find or even if you see something as fabulous as a belt like this it may not be your size so certain things i like to pay the price for it because it's one of a kind you know and it's not every year, every season, or every collection that they come up with the same item. So once it's gone, sis, it's gone. The next belt, ooh, I flipped it, I remember that. I remember that. Hold on. I think it goes. This is from White House Black Market. Oh, I got it right today. Usually I say, what do I say usually? I say White Market Black House or something. Today I got it right. <laughs> ah, if you've seen my previous videos, you know. Look, I love buckles. Elastic look at that oh my gosh so it is so fabulous it gives me really like a retro vibe i think there's a woodpecker on the side of a house i keep hearing like a something pecking at the wall or something if you hear it that's probably what it is about oh my gosh i have a lot now i realize i do have a lot of white belts oh my gosh and black this is not a zara belt i still love it though i don't want to get rid of it i love it and to my defense this one is different i love how oval the buckle is gold tone which the other one is black and the other one is silver this Oh, I love it. I'm keeping it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think my idea of purging is not to 
become a minimalist if you have not noticed. I am not a minimalist in any shape or form. I love options. I love choices. I love a lot of stuff to choose from. It's just about getting rid of stuff that I may not like anymore. So, and I don't see myself reaching out for. Oh, uh, this one kind of you know got chips here. This is from Shein, I think. But I can actually use a black marker and blotch it a little bit, and nobody will see it. We notice the difference. If you have a black marker you can still fix it i'm not getting rid of this this is a white this was my first white belt and i thought oh my gosh girl your style you are killing it now i mean seriously and she may still have this in stock i actually purchased that probably four years ago and it has served me well and i'm keeping it keeping it gorgeous now this is another belt Oh, a corset belt that I purchased from, I think, Shein, if I'm not mistaken, I think so. From Shein, I believe, and you know this is going to come in handy, you know, for some styling. So I'm keeping it for sure. That's the only corset belt that I really have. Um, next. Next, next. Oh, this is a real leather thrifted belt i purchased it says wcm let me show you wcm new york real italian leather and i really like the color at the time i did not have a belt this color because it's still not even this color or you see it's still different so i love variety I love different colors because I have my own way of accessorizing things and uh, I'm keeping this. It's so sturdy and so stylish. It's got some discoloration though. But is it something that can be seen? I'm thinking. Mm. Uh, I think it's time to let go. Can you see some black spots? I'll let it go. I'll let it go. It's okay. <sighs> You're fine. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I guess I'm doing the Mari. I'm doing the Mori condo type of purge doesn't bring you joy if it does not bring you joy let it go <laughs> oh my goodness oh my gosh this is actually fading away as i am um, trying it out no 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 this is not acceptable no i'm getting rid of this i think it was genuine leather man-made material made in china i don't know the brand but it's already uh -uh falling apart no 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 i will get rid of it my goodness okay next up oh this actually came this is like a material very something not really substantial this is a belt that came with a pair of white leg pants high waisted pants i purchased from boohoo See, <clears throat> so it came with it so I'm going to keep it because I can wear this with different things you know I like that it's not sturdy it is very pliable and flexible I can wear this over blazers over a lot of things a lot of times I don't really wear the belt that comes with clothes because I think it just looks too simple I like to add some research <laughs> I like to add another dimension to my styling so usually I, I don't I don't pair the belt with the garment it came with next up we have this Zara belt oh I love love this one but what's up I think it's turning on me look at this color this, 
why I love the um, velvet feel of your belt. I know it's not leather, but this is what attracted me to this belt. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to wear it. I'm going to let it go. Because it looks a lot like this one that I am keeping. Kind of like a bigger buckle, but it still looks... No. My mom, I'll probably give it to my mom. She'll probably wear this. No, I'm going to get rid of it. Then let it go. Quality. We want quality here. We want to elevate our look. Well, this is a dark brown belt from Zara. And I love it. I love it. The other one I have, the big one is black. The other the one burgundy. So I'm keeping this. This is dark brown. I don't have a dark brown belt. So I am keeping this one for sure. Yes. Real leather. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Next up, my goodness. <laughs> the belts that keep on giving. So we have this vintage. Oh my gosh, I love this belt. It's giving me gladiator. It's giving me medieval grace or uh, Rome. I don't know. It just uh, love it. It's giving me Viking. <laughs> I love, love, love this one. And I've always actually thought about wearing this for one of my looks. Sis. Stay tuned. So good. So good. I love it. This is definitely a necklace. I really love it. I really love it. I think it's definitely one of a kind belt. It's, it's not something that you see often. And uh, yeah, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. I love it. Because my style is really like a mix of vintage and uh, contemporary with some ethnic, tribal, African. So, yeah. I, I don't think I have a definite style. You cannot put me in a box. Yes, I actually picked this from um, Goodwill. This is an express belt. I believe it's leather. Yeah, actually, I made a synthetic leather. Actually, I made a haul with this belt, and uh, I love it. It gave me really like the Gucci belt vibe, and I was like, yes, that is so cool. I'm keeping this. Express is a really good brand, and they're actually a bit expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This belt, this came with a dress I purchased from Shein. It was... It was a two-tone yellow black dress and it came with it. Why was I keeping this? No, 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 no. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next up, my goodness, I am not buying any more black belts in my whole life. From Chico's. Sis, come on, look at that. beautiful beautiful i love it i love it i love the mix of metals how you see the copper or silver looking and the gold yes i love that mix of metal i am keeping it from chico's yes okay so oh <laughs> this is like a fabric belt that probably came with something I purchased but this I'm going to keep I am going to keep because this really reminds me of like a belt that goes with a kimono yes I love it this is like a silk looking material very well made it looks vintage actually even so I'm keeping it yes okay what have we here I don't think that this belt fits me anymore. I don't know. It was always kind of tight anyways. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. You see? <laughs> what even going on my waist? And that's with me even sucking in. I don't know if you can see it, but look at that. 
Gotta go. Gotta go. Mm -mm. Somebody else can better enjoy it. This is white belt. I believe this is leather because it's. I've had it for a while. Genuine leather made in Italy. Yeah, genuine leather made in Italy. White, cryptic. So I'm letting go of this one. <laughs> Oh my lord, my thrifted Betsy Johnson. When I saw this at the store, I just, I couldn't believe it. Betsy Johnson, oh my lord, this is gorgeous. Look at this purple, look at that design. And of course with buckle, ah. Oh. I believe I wore this with my um, a dress I wore that I purchased at from Ross and I was wearing monochromatic purple and I love this look so much I will insert the uh, picture for you I believe it's just fabulous what do you think oh this is one of a kind I believe this is vintage I believe this is vintage and it's probably leather as well or man made material so apparently it's not leather but this is fabulous I'm keeping this Betsy Johnson are you kidding me come on now come on now keeping it next up we have another we have another vintage tribal ethnic native looking belt and those I mean I am partial to those. Every time I see them at the thrift store, I have to grab them. They just, I'm just drawn to it. And over the years, I've seen so many different styles. Um, when they look too similar to what I have already, I don't buy it. But this one, I just love that black and gray. And this can also be like a choker or a necklace, or you can still style it however you want to style it so beautiful i'm keeping it oh this is another material looking belt from zara double buckle remember those they used to be in style no they used to be trendy like was it last year or two years ago those double buckle i wasn't into them at first and then I was like you know what let me give it a try and I got hooked I love the style I think it is edgy I like it I'm going to keep this one I like it this this is you should have seen this recently in my fashion week lookbook when I wore my Ankara skirt and my cropped yellow blazer this is a belt I wore with it. This is. Love it. I love this buckle. Those three buckles here. It's so bold. So original. So different. Come on now. I love it. Elastic. So it fits pretty much a lot of waist. Very accommodating. And it's actually heavy. I love it. I love it. Oh, I have a white, another white belt. Now we're talking. I was kind of sad about not having another white belt, but this is more of an off white, echo color, which I like. And the brand is Halogen. And I think it's just good, good, good. This is different, definitely. So I like having a smooth, of white belt like this yes this will come in handy I'm almost done I promise you sis <laughs> oh I recently got this one yeah I still have a tag on it from Goodwill $1.99 and yeah I have yet to wear it but oh my gosh when I saw this red oh I love this styles of 
bear so much i have oh my gosh i have so many red blazers i have red kimonos you know me in red and orange colors sis if you don't i'll insert a few pictures as exhibits <laughs> this is so cool yeah what is that again hmm. it's like a wooden belt where did i get this one i don't even know a wooden belt really yeah you can even hear it's made out of wood uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. or should i try it to make sure no oh, no 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 i see some discolorations here white spots no it's okay it's okay it's gotta go because i never even thought about wearing it so why am i keeping it doesn't make sense that's why it's good to purchase this another material belt is this one that came with oh it came with the wide leg green pants i purchased from buku remember there was a similar black belt that i showed you this is the green version i love those white pants i purchased i'll insert some pictures this is the belt that went with it oh i didn't really like that belt hmm. should i keep it for something okay i'll keep it for now i'll see if within the next three months i don't reach out for it you should go another belt bam <laughs> this gives me gladiator again same vein as the other one but i feel like this one looks too old look at this i feel like it looks too old and dated this one has got it but this I love this one though mm, I think I'll keep it as a hair accessory or something I don't know what do you think oh yes I think I'll keep it I'll keep it not as a belt but as a hair jewelry what about that and it's all about thinking outside the box thinking outside the box yes now we have this whip looking belt which yes i'm going to keep this one sis because i don't have a thin belt anymore yeah this is the single thin black belt i have and to wear this over a kimono to give off the monk type of vibe yes 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 this will come in handy i'm keeping this very very asian flair oh my gosh i have another black belt oh lordy have mercy oh, i don't know i don't know keep it i mean i wore it recently to church but I have so many of those elastic. Oh, look at this, for example. I have to get rid of this one. I feel like I like how elevated this one is, and the patterns, and the big buckle. This is just like, yeah, it's just like a knot or something. I'll, I'll, I'll give it up. Maybe my mom would like to try this one on. I'll give it up. Okay, so next up is ta -da, this belt, which is from Chico's. My goodness, Chico's makes a lot of those belts. Genuine leather, and I thrifted it. I really like the color. I don't have anything similar. Knowing me, this will come really spice up an outfit of mine i already see something yes 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 i'm keeping this genuine leather yes i'm keeping this i like this color a lot i love this almost snake print feel and color 
yes and the big buckle i'm keeping this one i am done with a pile of belts i wanted to go through do i have other belts yes i do yes even last year i purchased a bunch of fun bold color belts from um, Shein, and so i'm going to wait and make a separate video with those and show you how to style those fun fuchsia um bright colors i can see right now some pink some light brown some some deep brown some blue some so maybe like six belts or so so i'm going to wait on that and I'll probably make a lookbook with them because otherwise this video will be too much because i know for sure i'm not purging those <laughs> those are my belts to you know to make my outfits pop right now and i believe that you know even with belts we can have fun we don't have to wear like i always say the boring black belt that goes with everything we wear we can still use a belt to make such a statement in the way we dress and how we style our outfits yeah, so this is it for today sis i really hope that you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching to the end you know if you have enjoyed it and you have not subscribed yet you know what to do sis come on now join this growing family of fabulous chic feminine ladies and let's grow this platform and share with your own network of sis so they get the message <laughs> Thank you so much. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and um, that's it for me. See you soon. Stay blessed. Bye.